So I've just had an opportunity to take a look at your 5e lessons and I just want to highlight a few of the common things that I saw with each of those. Remember in the engage activity that you really want something that is truly engaging. We're going to talk about discrepant events and perhaps you've started to read a little bit about those but I really want encourage you to find something that is truly, truly engaging, much like you saw in the videos that I modeled on the course. And I know that life science activities and lessons sometimes are a little bit harder to come up with those engage activities. And part of our discussion will be that it's not necessarily imperative that your engage activity totally match the content, the idea, especially early on when you're working with 5Es, is to come up with something that's truly, truly engaging, looking for that wow zow factor. When you get to the explore time, most of you did a great job of des describing how your students are going to interact with the materials and also interact with each other, so that was done very, very well. Don't forget in the explain component, it's not only the students explaining, it's you oftentimes delivering the content. That may come in the form of a lecture. It may be an assignment from the book where they have to read a section of a chapter and answer some questions. Maybe you're going to show a video, a clip, or something like that. But the idea is this is where the content is really developed. Up until this point, students haven't had vocabulary. They haven't had concepts really explained and developed. This is where you can pull all of those things together. If there's any place where the 5e gets a bad rap, it's right here. Because a lot of people are um, eager to engage and have students explore, but they don't go into the depth of explanation. So make sure that you deal with that. Then uh, you had great ideas for the extend activities, and you had great ideas for evaluation, which we will continue to develop as the course goes on. So early on in the 5e process that you guys are engaged in, I truly expect and encourage you to kind of follow the textbook 5e model. And as you do that, I think you'll find great success. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.